Hey everybody, Eric Nathy with MountainModernLife.com. Not sure if you guys are dealing with your own mouse problems or you've seen a couple of our previous videos and you just wanted to check back in and see how our mint oil solution was working. Um, but anyway, it is week three. It's our third video on our mouse problem and how we're handling it. And I can honestly say that Katie and I, I have found a solution. Um, we're 100% satisfied with our mint oil uh, project. Um, we've went ahead and we've taken the mint oil, put it on cotton balls and put it throughout all the basement storages where there might be some lingering holes um, and then also in our lower kitchen cabinets and our bathroom uh, cabinets and uh, we can say that we've been 10 days without any signs of mice. Now we are on a grain farm and uh, there's a lot of buildings around here and uh, we have noticed that there's plenty of mice activity going on around in the buildings uh, around the area but there's none in our RV. So what makes us really excited about that is the fact that our RV is packed with food and none of the other buildings have food in them but the mice are still going to the other buildings um, completely avoiding ours. Um, so after the first attempt we actually went about five days and then now uh, we caught a mouse back here in this back section uh, which I touched on a little bit in the last video but basically it was because I didn't put enough mint oil back there I was getting down to the end and I'd already put it everywhere else um, so I kind of just threw what I had left in there and I don't think it was quite enough but on this last round we went ahead and I evenly applied it throughout all of the RV and uh, we've went 10 days with no mouse activity um, we haven't caught any we haven't seen any uh, droppings or chewed up paper towels anything like that um, so we're extremely excited about it. We're going to go ahead and uh, keep updating you guys um, uh, as we go through the process, see how long we can go with the amount of mint oil we used. Um, also, I have a post up on the website that actually goes into, you know, how many cotton balls we used, how much mint oil we used, and uh, where we put it. Um, now, as you probably know, every RV is different, so um, if you're looking at this and you're looking to uh, try this uh, in your own RV, it may be different spots where you put it, but I'll kinda, I kind of highlight uh, exactly why I put it in the locations I put it in, so hopefully that helps you out. Um, but uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, definitely feel free to leave them below, and uh, thank you so much for watching our video today, and we'll see you again soon.